It's just amazing what we are introduced here in the Balanced View Training. We are introduced here to a choice that we all have. A choice and ability for us to rely on open intelligence. And relying on open intelligence rather than emphasizing all our data. And data is everything that we can perceive. Thoughts, emotions, sensations, and any, everything that we can um, perceive simply called data in the Balanced View Training. And by recognizing that all our data are inseparable from reality, from that stability, from the shining forth of open intelligence. Open intelligence is the ground of being, everything that that, that, that perceives, basically everything. So all our thoughts and emotions, where we maybe thought these are just separate um, data streams that arise, we more and more identify that um, these data streams are inseparable from, from open intelligence, that we cannot separate them out. There wouldn't be any data without open intelligence and no open intelligence without data. In fact, we recognize open intelligence through our data streams. In that way, we see that they are just not um, separate out from each other at all. And in that, we rest deeply with a short moment. And we can introduce ourselves by just stopping thinking for a moment. And that's such a such a potent instruction to just stop thinking and identifying that open intelligence is always on, always present, never goes anywhere, and we can always count on that in, in, all, in all our daily activities, in every thought, in every emotion, open intelligence is there. And that we repeat again and again, whenever we naturally remember to do so, we take a short moment, relaxing body and mind completely. There's nothing to do with our data. We allow the data flow on by. Data can do whatever they, they want and we just allow them to be as they are. And from that settledness of all our data, without stirring them in, in, in the way that we try to change them indulge them, keep hold on to them, or try to get rid of them, they just settle naturally. And with that, we open up to that vast intelligence that knows always in every circumstance what will be of most benefit to ourselves and others. That vast intelligence that we wouldn't notice if we focus just on the data, just on the description of the data. We wouldn't Notice that there's something about us that is so vast, so intelligent, so skillful. Our true identity, that's what it is. Our true identity is completely potent, at ease, and completely skillful. And that's what we are just opening up by taking short moments. We recognize that within ourselves, that potency and that ease within ourselves. Recognizing that again and again opening up to that reality, that life of benefit, without making it into a concept of what benefit is. We just open this up completely, seeing that, that there's a sp spontaneous naturalness within that, seeing of what serves every circumstance best. We just naturally open up to that. The same is with generosity. We just open up to complete generosity. That's our true nature. We are all completely generous in wanting to be of benefit to ourselves and others. Generosity is wanting to be of benefit in all areas of life. And we just naturally open up to that. We are all completely generous, completely beneficial from the start. So there's no need to try to be more generous, not try to need to be more beneficial. Just opening up naturally. That was my experience. I just opened up to that more and more natural. All my data didn't um, have any information in and of themselves to tell me that I'm generous or beneficial or maybe not um, generous or whatever might come up. Just complete openness to see just experience ourselves. We want to be of benefit and that's just what, what opens up more and more within ourselves.
opening up completely and all our data streams I mean I, I also like I, I grew up as a woman uh, obviously and, uh, and I had all, <laughs> all this idea about men and, and, and how you know I mean I shouldn't you know I, I try to then go against all these things completely like I don't want to serve them, I don't want to, um, you know, I need to be eman emancipated, no, how do you say that in English, emancipated and, you know, like strong and really show men how to, you know, like, oh, I just try to go in the other direction, just, and, and then such a hard effort and no ease within that and, 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 and now I see just that balanced view within all, not needing to take any position just completely opening up to a complete balanced view in, in relating if it's men or if it's female or if it's, it's just that beautiful openness to, to no matter what, what the human being that is and, and, and serving in, in a beautiful way and seeing what will be of most benefit. It's so beautiful that we just are so connected in, in every way no matter what the gender, no matter the um, uh, background, no matter the religion, no matter, you know, no matter where people come from, we are just open and connected. Nothing is in between us at all. We just feel so completely harmonized with, with everyone, more and more so. It's our natural state, we're just getting used to it again, getting familiar with that about ourselves. It's just so beautiful to, to live life like that and I mean, that's always what I really wanted and all my data that I had didn't allow me to connect in that way because then I had data about that person and data about that and focusing on my data about him never allowed me that deep connection and now just um, focusing on that, that that unifies us that that we all are connected not the fleeting data that always change you probably have noticed that if you look at your experience and sometimes you find this person really, oh, the next day you love him for completely, like what, what happened there, just, it's unpredictable, all our data, so unpredictable, basing on our decisions and thinking of liking or connecting or loving per a person just on data, it would like go all, all around, so we, we just base it on open intelligence and there we just feel that love and connection with everyone, regardless the data, regardless what comes up. Data can do whatever they want. It doesn't affect us as open intelligence. We can completely take responsibility for our data. We are not victim of our data. When we start to, you know, blame others for something, or oh, I, I feel like that because this did that and that, that was always a good sign for me to take complete responsibility. Nobody can affect my sense of well-being or how I want to rely on open intelligence. I can always make that choice, even if anger comes up, even if frustration comes up. It's my choice how I want to deal with that anger, even if I think that other person initiated that. It's my choice, how do I want to deal with that anger? So it comes always back to our responsibility and that choice that we have that I didn't know that I had before I came to open intelligence. So that's really powerful that we are now introduced to that choice about ourselves. And of course there are some data streams that might be more challenging and for everyone it might be a different data stream and th that's fine. I mean, we all have uh, all our kinds of data streams and some data streams we have just emphasized year after year after year, so maybe that's more challenging to allow it to be as it is. But the nature of all data are the same. There's no that, that some data are like are generally that we cannot rest with or some are more easy. It's just for our own um, experience that we can see and, and, and every data stream has equally open intelligence shining forth, not one less and one more or anything like that. We can just relax completely into that and take the support of, of the Four Mainstays. The Four Mainstays, wow, it's just such an amazing um, support structure. 
And sometimes I, when I reflect on that, I mean the stability of the four mainstays and often the um, simile of the chair is used. You've probably all heard that. I was thinking about that this morning and, and I thought, yeah, okay, we have like when we just use two legs of the chair. You could all imagine yourself now trying to sit on two legs. I mean, you cannot put all the weight on it, can you? No? Or three, you need to live uncomfortable sitting. And just when you, we have four legs, we can just really put all our weight down and relax deeply, completely. And kick back into that chair. <laughs> Best is these deck chairs in, in La Plage. No, that's the one we want to <laughs> kick back into. You know, these, these oh, comfortable chairs. That's, a, that's the four mainstays. We really kick back into the comfortability of the four mainstays, completely relaxed. Nothing more to do because the four mainstays hold us just in a natural way. So easy. So that, that's really the power of the four mainstays and for us to, it's really up to us to make use of that. Making use of these comfortable chairs to just uh, supporting us through anything supporting us through anything completely relaxed and at ease, no matter what comes up. It's so amazing that we are just prepared for life. Prepared for life no matter what comes up. And of course things come up and it's, it's so amazing that we always just are completely supported in that. And if, if like, like really um, life-threatening things come up or, or uh, like it, it's, it's of course so sad and everything, but now I see that I, I feel so prepared and always to have the support of the Four Mainstays. I, I just know I, I, I will be totally guided no matter what comes up. All the things that I was so afraid of, of grief or losing someone, I was so afraid to feel that grief. And now I know I, I will just be completely supported if that would, that would come up. That we can really face anything. We have the, the um, power of the Four Mainstays and the, the practice of short moments to really see that we are capable to be in any circumstance. That's incredible. Each and every one has the ability to be completely at ease and potent in any circumstance, no matter what it is. And that's for life, always, until we die and beyond, of course. It, it's really incredible how we can just ease and, and, and surf through life in that potent way. Yeah, nothing needs to change then in our life. You know, everything, we have all the tools completely to really live this, this beneficial life that we, that we really, if we want to live that, we have all the tools completely laid up in front of us. So we can just take advantage of that as much as we like. You know, the, in the Four Mainstays, you know, all the, the trainings that are given and, and every training just elicits this open intelligence, allows us just to settle in deeper and deeper. So the trainings that we offer in Balanced View are so potent in that way. So if you haven't been in a training setting, we have a one-day introductory training every Saturday and it's so powerful we like we read a text together a text that just elicits open intelligence completely and then there are of course a space to ask questions and and it's it's just amazing when we just allow ourselves to just settle into that more and more giving ourselves that time really to allow ourselves to settle and get familiar with that about ourselves that is so potent and at ease and beneficial. Allowing our, ourselves that time to really get familiar in every circumstance of our life with every data stream. No data stream left out. And through the trainings we settle in into that deeper, deeper. Growing in, in our stability, growing in our potency just naturally everyone by simply making that choice again and again to rely on open intelligence.